Well, I think they're a real good team. I think, uh, you know, to be honest with you, is I don't think it's a fair assessment because we didn't play good enough. And so, you know, you'd really like to play them in a good game so you can see how good they can be. I, I was real impressed with their team. They've been a team, I think I played them three or four years ago in, game, in the first round and lost the game seven to them in Detroit. And they were on the move. And they've been taking steps. Obviously, Duran now, uh, he's a kid that's getting better. They're getting better all over. They got good goaltending. They got good D, and, and they got good depth up front. So uh, they're fun to play against. And I, I thought it was a good challenge for our team. I loved a lot of the things we did. I loved the opportunity we had at their net. But obviously, they scored too easy. And uh, you know, the first two were 250 across. Uh, the first two to me. Uh, deflated us a little bit, and you can't have that. It doesn't matter what goes right or what goes wrong. You just got to keep coming. Getting better as a five-man group in the D zone, just a matter of detail and working on it? Well, I thought we were doing a pretty good job, to be honest with you. Our scoring chances have been down low, but last night uh, we got puck watching, and I think part of it was after we got discouraged a little bit. Instead of being discouraged, just keep playing right, and uh, they got roaming around in our zone, and we lost coverage a couple times with people looking at the puck. They were thinking, well, you can't play defense without having puck pressure and without stopping and so uh, the other thing that's real apparent is that you can score all the goals you want if you keep giving up goals you lose it doesn't matter it's great you can score goals you, know, you lose every night that doesn't add up to me so uh, we got to be way better at keeping the puck out of our net Pretty Anderson said it was right back to work for him. Is that the best way to put a tough night behind you? Well, I think for sure, obviously, and Andy knows that he's my guy. And uh, so, you know, there was a decision for me to make after the first period last night. Do I take him out? Do I leave him in? I just felt it was important for him to battle. I challenged him in front of his teammates as well to do that. Uh, it hasn't gone the way he wants. When you look at his, his numbers, over the last three years, and look at his numbers with us, they're not the same. So I know that uh, things have a way of, of evening out. And uh, when you're good, you don't just lose it. Uh, there's something affecting you. So we talked about that here today, and uh, I expect him full well to be back and rolling. We need him to be as good as he's capable of being, and that's what he wants to, and, and that'll happen. Do you expect him to start there, sir? Yeah. Andy Lander, Matthew's line. I mean, is, is that is there a comparable in your career in terms of how well they've come together this quickly? Well, it's six games in. Like, I mean, it's, uh, the, uh, you guys talk about uh, those two all the time, but you don't mention the guy who goes and gets the puck all the time. Keeps giving it to him. That guy who just keeps getting you the puck even when you lose the draw. So Hyman gets them the puck, and they do good things when they have it, and uh, it's been good thus far. Uh, their kids, it's early. I don't know if you noticed, though, that they were dash two right away in the game. That matters to me. So you can't start just because you score, but if you give them up, it doesn't make no difference. You can't give them up. You got to not give them up and score. Then you impress me. Mike, how's that been Wednesday? Uh, didn't practice today. He'll be in tomorrow. Was there any thought of giving Anderson a couple days, or did you want him to get right back in there tomorrow? There was no thought of giving him a couple of days. You take a lot of pride in your resources on this team, uh, whatever goalie coaches, video, that sort of yeah, thing. Yeah. Are you calling upon that uh, with Freddie, with not oh, just yeah, him, but, but with everybody? Yeah, I mean, we always do. The big thing here, though, is let's not overthink this here. And we've made a real point of not doing too much with Freddie just because of the fact that he's obviously had a way he's done things. I think it's important we get to know him and we don't change anything. And then over time, once we get it all figured out, he'll be able to help himself. But no, I. You know, to me, Andy's just going, and uh, he's going to be the guy, and he's got to fight his way through it. Do people underestimate the challenge that comes with whether it's on or off days, playing in a new team, moving from a new city, and everything that comes with that for a young guy? Yeah, I think part of it. I think part of it's your new contract, all those things. And saying all that, though, is we play in the greatest hockey market in the world uh, with the most fans and the most media. And th whether people believe this or not, they're cheering for you. They want you to be great. That's what you got to get through your head. No one's, there's no witch hunt here at all. They want to cheer for you. And if you're great, they're cheering for you. And if not, they want a new guy. It's that simple. No, like, uh, I think that's fair.